Hey everyone, just wanted to cover off uh, the new materials management in version 10. As you can see here, we're in the drawing properties and I am in the advanced materials area under the management. Uh, we can manage multiple sources of materials. So if I have various other types, for example, commonly used, Laminex, Polytech, I can alter the other ones as well. I'm just going to use my default ones today. So we hit the manage button. Uh, we can choose what type of a material we're about to do. I'm just going to do a door. I'm going to make a corresponding door and a corresponding panel, okay? Because they don't have to be from the same group. So here I've got a group called generic doors. I've got a bunch of ones here. Now I, I've got a basic white selected. So tab, I'm going to use the tab key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a orange. You'll notice that this button down here had just changed to save, from save to save as. So now I'm making a new one. I can change my brand. Uh, it could be Laminex, Formica, Polytech, whatever I want it to be. Change the actual thickness of the door as opposed to the descriptive value. Um, the color name, I'm going to change. It's just text based, but this is where the actual color comes from. Uh, there you go, orange. Don't forget to go to the other settings and check all the other bits because if I'm copying my white, I want to make sure that I've changed all aspects of the white into what I need. The edging is to say that yes, this door requires edging. This is to say yes, it's going to be able to go out to machining and this is the name that it will use on its way out. This is if you're using OptiLink for the beam saws or other purposes and the name represented that it will see in OptiLink. Important to note about the grain, if you're using a grain material, you would need to tick on grain. Don't, don't worry too much about the rotation because that would change uh, when you are in the part. If you're doing a style slab, edge band and a flat panel look uh, pretty much the same. They're just a square, flat piece of door. If you went with one of the other styles, for example, a routed panel, and went to design one, it would look like that. So in your 3D view, you would see that sort of a design appear on your door. This one, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go with a slab flat panel. If I had a style about it, if I had any infills, but I don't have any infills available, and any of the pricing information. If you needed to set up the pricing, this is where you would do it. Okay, so once I'm done, I just hit save as, and it tells me it's made a new material called 16 mil orange door in the generic laminate doors. Now, if I go over to my panel type, I can have similar style categories. And I'm going to start with the same basic white. I can't use the same name as I did a door. Every, every material here, regardless of which category it comes from, has to be unique. I'm just going to make the usual changes. Once again, just making sure I come through and change all the settings where appropriate. Check my pricing. So there's making a panel and a door. Now the other one that can happen is your edging. So here I have some no edging. What if I made a five mil edge for my carcass theoretically? So I start with my four. Make an adjustment to its name, you'll see save and delete. Tab. Now I'm save as. Change its thickness, five. Still leave it with white. Doesn't need to CNC. Like I'm not actually going to cut it. That's all I might do. It might actually have a price if I wanted to. Save as. So now, if I now come back to my drawing. My panels under my generic laminates, I had made available orange. There's 16mm orange. So on a, under my panels and my door. Now, even though these two names are, the, uh, are different, because I'm utilizing raw name and I made them exactly the same name under that CNC name, they will come out together for machining purposes. Even for designs, it's a good idea to run with that notion because it keeps things right if you did transition that way. Also with my edging, 
I can now choose a 5mm edging. And that's all we need to see for today. Thank you.